installed on top of the ProMaster. We're going to take a look at how I got it painted, the behind the scenes install, and I'm going to show you guys how you can save a lot of money on shipping. So let's get out there. Let's take a look. the brackets here the mounting brackets i'm gonna get those secured to the plates so that when i prep them for painting this is already all one unit parts water, one part vinegar to get the galvanized steel prepped for the primer and they said oh it'll make your your steel look funny and look at that it does it has a it has a, a funny haze to it you can see so I'm gonna start priming so that this does not get any oils grease or dirt on it The ProMaster comes with five of these T-mounts on top of the van so that you don't have to drill through your van, but you got to get the right cargo rack. So this has a slot here, and that just slides right in there. And then the big mounting bracket goes over it. Screws go into that. Pull, they pull together, they work against each other, and then tighten on that on that T mount. So here all all four of them block the one and eight inch hole that these cross pipes go into so we're gonna have to drill four holes out for these pipes to go in Now I gotta take the mounting bracket off 
to get the this pipe in here. find a cargo rack I went with American van and I believe they're out of New Jersey and type in cargo rack Ram Promaster all right here you go so you can see aluminum rack $954 galvanized $399 there is a weight difference and then the 12 foot and that's for the 136 and the 159 you can see I actually had it shipped to the Ram dealer because it was hundreds of dollars cheaper so I paid $174 to have that ship it was going to be like Four seventy-eight or something like that to have it shipped to my residence because they need a loading dock it comes in on a semi so you can see I got the 10 foot because I did not want it to overhang off of the back so one of those I got the an extra mounting kit so that I could put a little bit of extra weight up there if I wanted to and I bought two wind deflectors because one does not go all the way across and I wanted full coverage I saw the comments and that seemed like it was a common comment that the wind deflector did not cover the whole thing and I am super pleased with how the rack sounds up there now that I've got solar panels up there and I've got my deck on there and you cannot hear any increase in noise up there so loving how that's working out all right there you go so if you're a subscriber thank you for returning if you have not yet subscribed to your channel please consider doing so hit that little notification bell that way you know when I put new videos up and please give this video a thumbs up that way YouTube will share it out we'll see you guys on the next video